Searching on Google. Seems like a simple enough task that all of us do just about every day. Only, if you were to take a look at the amount Google made last year alone, it was about $250 billion. If you were to take that and divide it among one million of your closest friends, each of those friends would have about $250,000 a year. And that's just the amount Google makes alone. That doesn't include all the people making money using Google to get search traffic. Yeah, that's gonna put us somewhere in the trillions of dollars. But what does this have to do with you? And can you change the way you search on Google to start getting paid big money? Well, that's what this training is about. Today, I am going to show you 50 search hacks that you can use on Google to start making money online right now. And the cool part is you don't need any experience, you don't need any money, and quite frankly, you don't even really need to know what you're doing. In fact, these Google search codes are so simple that it's gonna be hard to believe that this is actually real. But I'm gonna show you ample proof because after all, let's take a look at how Google actually gets paid. Google is paid for one simple service they provide, categorizing the world's information. And since they categorize this information and make it easier for us to find, well, they get to cash really big checks. But it doesn't just stop there. There's people, just like you and me, that are cashing gigantic checks each and every day that you can take advantage of using the search codes I'm about to show you. These codes are quite simply gonna make it easier for you to do a better job of categorizing specific information so that you can get paid. And before we get started, I wanna give a little shout out to two of our students that last week used the Black Friday video where I taught people how to make money on Black Friday and actually turned a profit. The first one is Maddie F. He's on our live streams just about every week. And yesterday, he crunched the numbers and found out that he made almost $400 on Black Friday alone. 400 bucks profit in one day using one strategy without having a big audience, a mailing list, or any of that fancy guru stuff. The second one is Ying. Ying also made a few hundred dollars on Black Friday as well. She came to me about eight months ago and bought one of our high ticket niche websites. She had been struggling to make money online for years and within a few days of getting her website, she started turning a profit bigger than anything she'd ever seen before. And this grew and grew and grew. Last time I heard, she's doing about $100 a day on one of her websites alone. But I want you to remember that these results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person trying to make money online makes nothing. So if you think you're gonna watch a video, click your heels up, and get rich, you got another thing coming. However, if you're ready to dive in and do the work and stick with it, then I believe you can make tons of money online. So smash that like button, subscribe, and let's hop over to the live set. And I'm gonna show you not only how to make money searching Google, but 50 search hacks that you can use to start putting money in your pocket right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Today we are going to kind of chill out and talk about these 50 search hacks because I believe that they are game changers uh, for those that are really paying attention. Now, what we need to really look at is the fact that with Google and with search engines and everything like that, what we're dealing with is a multi-trillion dollar industry based on the fact that categorizing information is profitable. Now, if you understand this, if you get the categorizing information information is profitable, let me know in the comments and let me know uh, as well. And, and let's look at this because if you get this, there is a chance to make tons of money. Now, what we're going to do here, and I will have these notes available for you, is we are going to look at the different what we call search operators. Now a search operator is something that allows you to search in a different way. If I was to go to, go to Google over here and say something like mortgage 
mortgage uh, rates or something like this, okay? I'm just gonna get standard old run-of-the-mill Google information. However, if I go through and use these different operators or search hacks or codes, we need to look at this and understand that we can do all different things. For example, if we were to use all in title, what that's gonna do is it's gonna show us websites that have it all in the title of the website. So if I want mortgage rates like this, we're gonna see some news results, we're gonna see current mortgage rates, current mortgage rates, current mortgage rates. So if I wanted something like all in title and I wanted mortgage rates, what that's gonna do is it's going to show us just websites that have mortgage rates in the title. Okay, this is important, it's basic, I want you to get this because this is something that has made me lots of money. The fact that I know how to search Google in a different way than most other people, and you are about to too, is the fact that we can make money. Okay, we need to understand this because if you get this, then making money is gonna get a lot easier. Okay, so we have all in title, we have site colon, so if I wanted to go through and say, well, maybe, maybe I just want site colon wpcity.com or new SUV or whatever, and I wanna see the different things on a website. Okay, what site colon does is it shows me all the pages that are indexed on a website. And this is a website that I purchased to show you how this works, and we've been building it from the ground up, and the rankings are actually doing really well. Again, what is this website doing? It's categorizing information about different WordPress things. Now, when we go through, and we look at this, okay, WP City, what we can do is we can isolate and say, well, maybe I want something about AdSense, right? Does this have anything about AdSense? And we could see that a couple of the pages do, about four pages mention AdSense in it from this website. Now, why is this important? Okay, the reason this is important is because what we're doing is we are looking at categories and profit, okay? Categories equal profit when done correctly. We need to understand that, okay, if I have the right categories and I, I'm able to categorize information better than the robots, because let's face it, Google, Yahoo, all these search engines are based on algorithms and robots. Now, if you were gonna go out there and say, hey, I wanna watch a good movie, you're probably gonna listen to your closest friends more than you would listen to a search engine. When a friend says, hey, go check this movie out, I go check it out. When Google says, go watch this movie, I'm like, yeah, I'd rather just scroll through Netflix for two hours and then it'll be too late to watch a movie anyway and I'll just go to bed. Does anyone else do that or am I the only person, right? So what we're doing is we're looking at the fact that we can do better than the AI and the robots and everything like that. And we can do it in a specific way, okay? And the cool thing about this is the fact that when we mentioned earlier, Google revenue alone is $250 billion a year. If you divide that by a million, that's still 250 grand, which means we don't have to do some huge crazy task. We don't need tons of crazy traffic. We don't need to be super experts on every topic or some complicated thing. All I need to do is do a couple of things really well. Right, that's it. People look at me, they're like, Marcus, you're, you get this, you do so good at this. And I'm like, well, I've been doing it 23 years and quite frankly, I'm only good at about three things. Right? Am I a good copywriter? No. Am I good at building products? No. Am I a good video editor? Mediocre, right? I'm only good at a few things that make lots of money and that's what I focus on. And if you can focus on the things that are going to make you money, this is key. And that is going to be categorizing information. What do you think this YouTube channel is about? I am categorizing information about different ways to make money online in a very easy manner. Now, can you Google and get the same information that I'm teaching you here? Yeah, I mean, it might take you about a year to Google all that or 10 years or something, and by that time it might have changed, but you can do that. There are the info out there, there is the info out there, and we need to understand that. And it's like I say all the time, information structured differently can make you rich. So what we need to do is we need to understand how these search codes come into play and how to find information. I think it is the definition of IQ is 
um, being able to figure things out. It's the ability to figure things out. And what we need to do is we need to have the ability to figure things out. And if we're able to do that, then it's literally game over, we win, right? It's very simple, it's not difficult at all. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be utilizing our AI along with this. If we go up there, there we go. We're gonna use uh, 4.0 because we want the good stuff. And we're gonna look at the search operators. Now, I have a list of 50 search operators and how to use them over at downloadmynotes.com. We will have that available once all the notes are ready from this video. But what we're doing here is we're like, okay, how is this helpful? How many of you guys are stuck and you're like, okay, site colon WP city AdSense, how's that gonna help me? How is that gonna make anyone money, Marcus? It doesn't make any sense, okay? Well, what we need to understand is that we can actually go out there and we can find top sites and stay on top of information that's out there right now. Staying on top of information is a huge business. All right, when we look at it, I mean, what does the news do? The news has those little things and it gets news from all over the world and they got a guy there reading it on a camera. They're categorizing information. That's all they're doing. They're like, hey, we're the business news channel. Today we're gonna talk about business news. And if I was to go out there and say, okay, well, let's go out there and let's do site fool. Uh, there we go, here we go, over here, sitefool.com which is a huge, huge um, site about stock market stuff. Let's do sitefool.com and let's do AI. Okay, what is this gonna do? This is gonna give me all the information from the website fool.com that is about AI. Okay, very simple. AI stocks, AI stocks, AI stocks, and on and on we go. How many of you guys are like, okay, I see how this can work. I see how this can be very, very good, okay? Simple, and you don't need ChatGPT paid account or anything. I'm actually gonna show you for this strategy, I actually prefer Bing, which is why we are in Bing here, Why? Right? Um, very important. So now I can go through and be like, okay, so yes, I can isolate a site. I can go out there, I can find info. Maybe I wanna do Tesla. What are all the reports that they've done about Tesla? Very simple, and again, it's gonna show just this site. This is very important. Let's say you wanted um, financial information, right? You could go out there and use a financial site. Let's say we're gonna use this or that or whatever it is, okay? And we're gonna go through and be like, okay, this is pretty cool, very simple, okay? You can also use something like quotes, okay? What quotes will do is it will limit to the exact search, okay? So I could go through and say, um, Tesla stock AI, okay? Have they done anything with Tesla stock AI? All right, here's something about AI optimism, AI op, so yes, Tesla stock is talking about AI and there are some reports on it, okay? So I can isolate information. Now again, you might be saying, Marcus, this is all fine and good, but I know how to search Google and this doesn't seem helpful. Well, again, remember, we are in the business of categorizing information and finding things for a specific group of people. And if you stick around long enough on this live stream, I have a doozy for you that is going to blow your mind, okay? It's something that I thought of today. I was, I was getting all my notes ready for this webinar and I was like, wait a minute, I just thought of something crazy cool that's gonna work really well. So stay tuned for that. You're gonna love it. Smash the like button if you're excited for it. All right, again, we can use minus if you want. Okay, I want um, stock market minus AI. I don't want it to say AI in it, right? And that'll give me all the stock stuff without AI. Okay, are you guys seeing how this is helpful? Just from a search standpoint, right? How many of you guys are looking at this and you're like, Okay, these are things I might not have known before. Okay, and again, these are, we're gonna get to the money part, but you gotta get this part first. Uh, we can also use in text, this limits to pages where the specified term appears in the body of the document. Okay, not in the title, in the body, very cool. Uh, file type, this is a doozy. All right, I could go through. This is something I did. So a lot of people don't know this about me, but uh, when I got sober about 10 years ago, I, had, I went to a rehab and I got out of rehab and for almost an entire year, I didn't work. 
what I did was I studied how to live a new life because I was like, okay, uh, I'm having trouble, all this stuff here. And so what I did is I had to learn new ways of thinking. So I would study critical thinking. I would study ways to be sober, relapse prevention tips. I read scientific documents on alcohol and emotions and all kinds of things like that. Okay. Now, why is that important, Marcus? Well, here's what I did. Luckily, I knew how to use Google back then, and I used a lot of these things. So one of the things you can do is file type, and I can go through, and I can do critical thinking skills file type PDF. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring up PDFs. These are all PDFs if you click them, and it's talking about critical thinking, which is great. So what we're doing is we're looking at this and we're like, okay, now I can categorize and I can save all these PDFs. I can put them in Google Bard. I can put them in uh, ChatGPT and I can get data super quick. Now, again, why is this important? How is this going to lead to you making money? Okay. I got my notes here. Maybe they'll stay up here. Maybe not. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at this in terms of being able to stay on top of information, learn things very quick, compile info that is helpful, right? Like how many of you guys, you think that it's valuable that I'm going to give you this list of 50 search codes, right? How many of you guys are like, dude, that's pretty valuable. Thank you, Marcus, which is really cool. And so we're looking at it and we're like, okay, this is looking good. We got all these different things. We also have a uh, link, right? Links to a different site, all in URL. This is an important one because now what this will do is all in URL allows you to see what is actually in the URL. So if I do all in URL, critical thinking skills, that means it has to be in the URL. See how it says critical thinking cuts it off there, but it has to be in the URL right like that. Okay, so it's very important. We're looking at this and we're like, okay, this is good stuff. This is making sense of how we can break up the internet in a different way because right now, let's face it, Google is pretty much a monopoly on search. It's a fact, right? They own like 80%, 90%, some crazy amount. And what we can do is we can make our own helpful information based on those searches, okay? Very, very important because all you gotta do is one thing really good. If you are the mortgage rates guy, Right? You go out there, you can make faceless YouTube videos about mortgage rates and you come on every day and you talk about what they do. There's a very popular YouTuber who does this. Um, his name's Meet Kevin. His content's okay. Some of it I'm like, yeah, bro, no. Some of it's okay. But what he does is he does like nine videos a day and I don't know how he does it. Maybe, you know, because he's still in his 20s and I'm, you know, in my 40s somewhere, maybe, maybe that's how he does it. But what he does is he comes out with new content every day. And up until now, in order to do this content, I would have people on, on staff that would, they would literally, their job was to go find me info to make content about. That was their only job. And, you know, I mean, I had one earlier this year, uh, cost me about, uh, I don't know, something like $2,000 a month just to have that person to, to research the stuff. Now, if we are using these with AI, you could stay on top of it super quick. We can stay on top of info. We can find helpful stuff. We can find PDF reports. Hey, here's this link. Here's that. And we can do this in an easy way. Another one is uh, before. If you want to find older results after, you want to find after results, we have related, a list of websites related to the spe specified website. Okay, this is a good one. I don't know if I've tried this one before. Let's try relatedfool.com. Okay. Um, so Motley Fool. Okay. Yeah, so here, there's some related ones down here. Job sites. A um, lot of full ones. We could probably do minusfool.com. That'll probably do all the, yeah, there we go. 
That did the trick. Now we're seeing sites that are related, but not including fool.com, which now we're like, hey, cool, this is looking pretty good, okay? Again, I know a lot of people, well, two, but two people are saying, hey, get to the point. Trust me, it's going to be worth following through this. I put a lot of thought and effort into the videos I create. If you're looking for a three minute video on how to get rich overnight, this is not the place. If you're looking for real world stuff, smash the like button. That's all we do on this channel. We do a lot of work in understanding what we're putting out there for you. So now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, here are lots of similar sites to fool.com, um, which, is, which is a good one. All right, or we could use info displays information about a website. Oh, I didn't know that that exists. Let's see, infofool.com. Uh, Okay, so it's creating, yeah, okay, so it's doing like the actual like uh, socials and things like that. In anchor, uh, date range, okay, this would be, hey, I want, um, I want, you know, AI info, okay, so let's say I wanted to research what happened before AI, right? So I could do date range one, uh, one 2021 to one, one, 2022 and I could say AI stats or something and I can get very specific things, okay? Very cool. We can also use public domain. That's interesting. A lot of people use public domain works for all kinds of different things. Language, if you want to do, you know, hey, I want this in uh, Cantonese or I want this in uh, Spanish or something like that. We can do in title and in text. This is a good one. So this is, hey, these websites need to say mortgage rates uh, AI, right? So it has to be in the title and it has to be in the text. So like this site has to be the info I'm looking for, okay? And once you learn to search the web in a different way and you're like, oh, I can pull out things that are super, super cool. What you're gonna learn is now you can do this with prices. Think last week, Black Friday, congrats to our students who made money with Black Friday. But when you think about that, now we can do something like um, site amazon.com Black Friday slippers, right? Now we see it's just gonna pull up results, Black Friday slippers. How many of you guys see the value of this? Type value if you do, if you don't, Type, type no, because I, I want you guys to tell me where you're at so I can adjust and help you in a very, very, very specific way. Uh, Happy Channel says, where can I get the list of the 50 codes? Uh, we're gonna have that at downloadmynotes.com. So let me know if you guys are following. Let me know if you see how this is gonna work because now, what I can do at a glance here is I can keep scrolling down because luckily the search engines now will put like a bazillion results on one page if you just keep scrolling, okay? You can even hit more if you want more. Now what I can do, watch this. I go to the old Google Bard up here or Copilot as it were. Click Copilot based on these search results on the page, please get the product names of the Black Friday slippers. Now what's gonna happen is boom, at a glance, what used to take me forever to do, it's going to do this right at a glance, it'll find the prices, there's the prices right there, and we're like, whoa, wait a minute, are you kidding me? This is super simple. And what's gonna happen is it's going to go and do this. Isotoner slippers. That reminds me of uh, Ace Ventura, Isotoners. How many of you guys like that movie? Great movie. All right, now we're gonna do this and then I could say, now please put them in a table with prices, okay? And links. Boom. So when this is done, again, ladies and gentlemen, we are using the free Microsoft Copilot, doesn't cost anything, and we're getting a list of the top slippers that are available. Exactly, Maddie says, uh, like a deal finder, 
gone crazy exactly and we look at that and it's like hey here we go this is doing the results for us so if you're going to do deals if you're going to do content if you're going to do information what's going to happen is it's going to work in a different way uh, by says how do you get copilot in google you don't uh, i mean there is an add-on but like i'm just going to use microsoft's because theirs is it's a microsoft product so i use edge and i just went to google.com on edge Right, so you're using Microsoft Edge, go to google.com, use your, your triggers that we're talking about here, and now we can get the info in a very good way. And this is, I mean, this is exhaustive. It is doing a crazy job of finding this stuff here. Now, please put them in a table with prices and links. What we're doing is we're gonna show you how to categorize stuff in a very, very simple way. So now it's gonna go through, and it is getting this stuff here. All right, like that, and the link should, I think it's probably gonna have like a list of links on the bottom, um, which is really cool. So now it's going through and it's like, okay, this is something that's gonna work really well. Uh, De Silva, yes, Bard is excellent as well. So now what we're doing is we're seeing, okay, I'm getting the lay of the land. This is looking pretty good. Now, if I wanted to do this with different types of things, like let's say sitenews.google.com, I can go here, or there's a popular news site, uh, what is it, it's CNBC Money or uh, something like that that does side hustles all the time. Let's see if we can find it here. Um, and I'll, I'll show you where this would come in handy. Uh, let's do side hustle news site. I think it's like CNBC. There's a couple of them out there. CNBC, I think, is the big one. Um, and there's YouTubers that do this all the time. They're literally just you know, going through and looking at side hustles and updating you on what's going on. So if I wanted to go here, I would just clear this out. I would go side hustle news site. So we have uh, CNBC side hustle advice. Okay, so here we have this, CNBC make it. So now I can go here, I can go to Google and I could do site colon CNBC make it side hustle. Watch this, okay? Very cool, because we can get info so quick. I mean, this is so profitable. If you guys are digging it, smash the like button. Let me know you're getting this, because if not, I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna try to describe it till you guys get it, or maybe we'll have another webinar. I don't know, I'm kinda tired today. But now we're looking at this and we're like, okay, site, CNBC, make it, site hustle. So now I can go through and I can scroll down here, okay? And I could say, please sh uh, get the list of side hustles from these search results, okay? I can even do, hey, here's the ones that, uh, you know, uh, do this, or here's the one that do that. And we look at this and we're like, okay, freelancing, okay? Uh, let's see, get them from the page, please. So I'm gonna stop and I want them from the page. So hopefully it'll do that. Okay, we gotta wait till it stops there. But what we wanna do is we wanna make sure it gets them from this page here. We can also go through and one of the queries you can do is, I believe it's news colon or something like that. Let's see, news, 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 Pinterest uh, group. Where's our news one? There it is. Uh, so news, yeah, entitle news, okay? So we can do entitle news side hustle. Okay, and what this will do is it'll help us get the info on side hustles and different things like that, which is pretty cool. So now we're seeing, okay, we're getting all kinds of stuff like that. Please get the side hustles from this page, okay? Very important, very easy. It's gonna go through and it's gonna do all the stuff here for us, which is really cool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, well, what other things can we use? We can do Stack Overflow, we could do um, med stuff, which I wouldn't go into the medical industry, but you could see here that a lot of this stuff does work, case law. There are literally people out there that update on different laws and things and you know um, cases going on and stuff like that. Um, Pinterest, Wikipedia, all different kinds of things like that. In author, 
Okay, so we can go and say, hey, now, so yesterday on uh, my sobriety channel, youtube.com, um, talk sober. This one here, we, we covered this Andrew Huberman guy. So like if I wanted to find info, which I actually did do this yesterday because I didn't have time to watch a bunch of his videos. So I watched a couple of them on my bike ride over here and then got some notes from others. But I can go through and do um, in author. So we'll go in author, Andrew Huberman. Okay, this will go through, it'll get all the stuff from him specifically, which is pretty cool. You can even do like Andrew Huberman in quotes, and then we can find um, file type PDF. Okay, I can find PDFs from Andrew Huberman. And I could literally go out there and be like, hey, let's talk about the different things that this guy shares. We'll break it down for people and we'll help him out. Andrew Huberman actually has quite a few searches. Okay, so if I went through and I'm like, okay, uh, maybe there's something about Andrew Huberman and alcoholism. Maybe I can do that. How many of you guys are seeing how this would be valuable? Um, sleep stuff, all kinds of different things that he has, okay? And we start to look at that and say, oh, okay, I get it. Now we can categorize things in a different way and I can find related info and I can find related reports and related things and, and make it in a very simple way. Or you could do music or maps, stocks. Uh, stock is a very good one where you could be like, okay, I want stocks from you know, the top 100 tech companies or, or whatever it is. Okay, now once we start doing this and we understand how to search in a different way, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, okay, well, where does the money come in? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our group and our keywords, okay? We're gonna be like, okay, well, what is it we're gonna talk about? All right, let's switch cameras. I think we're on the wrong one here. There we go, that one's a lot clearer. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and be like, okay, so now I'm going to pick a topic. Maybe you're gonna go out there and do exercises running, or maybe you're gonna do um, different meditation stuff, right? Like, watch this, so here's another one. Let's go through, and let's say you wanna be in the meditation niche, right? I could go through and I could be like, okay, file type MP3, and we'll do meditation. File type MP3, okay, let's see, file type meditation, file type MP3. What did I spell wrong? I did something wrong here. Let's try reloading it. There we go. So what it'll do is it's gonna go through and it's gonna find the MP3s and I could say, now please make, and it did a good job of the, the side hustles there, a table with the MP3s on this page and how they help. And again, you can do this meditation, um, rain sounds, meditation, uh, Ram Dass, Alan Watts, whatever it is, and you can find info and compile it in a really cool way. Then all I need to do is be like, okay, well, what kind of people look this stuff up? I can go and say, well, how many people look up Alan Watts, okay? Well, a lot of people do, because he's a good guy. Um, has great talks. If you struggle with anxiety or anything like that, this guy is, is he's got some great stuff to listen to. Um, so I could go through and say, okay, now I can reach 100,000 people, and all I would need to do is categorize the information that's out there anyway. Like, hey, here's the top Alan Watts things. If you want to listen to this, here's how this is going to work. Here's the anxiety ones. Here's the metaphysical stuff. Here's the meditation. Here's that. Here's some great places for, um, you know, some, some videos to watch, different things like that. And you can do this in a super, super simple way. Uh, we can also do movies, music, Twitter, uh, pretty much anything. And once you understand that, okay, now I can use these to search in a different way, let's talk about how this is gonna go even bigger. Because again, I have other videos where we're gonna go through and we're gonna find our niche. This is about creating content. We are gonna create helpful stuff. Now, I can go out there, I can create a helpful PDF without having a website, I can link to affiliate offers, and I can have all different kinds of, of things that would help. Maybe, um, you know, maybe I'll go through and do like 
videos anxiety okay and we'll see people are searching for calming videos for anxiety you have a total search volume of 1500 uh, per month now some videos are terrible some videos are good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compile the ones that I want so I'd go through and say okay um, let's do all in title Alan Watts meditation video okay now I can go through and find all the videos and say now please make a list of these videos with links okay and we'll see here and sometimes you'll get an error you just ask it again it'll it'll follow up and, and do the work for you okay let's stop and we will redo it I think we can refresh there we go um, please make a list of the video titles on this page and include the link typed out in quotes okay let's see if it does it now what this is going to do is it's going to get me a bunch of videos and watch the magic is going to happen in just a minute because now we can actually use these to teach the AI how to search which is interesting because now I can say okay use this search query to find X Y and Z okay does that make sense to everyone is everyone getting that so now we go through it's getting us a list okay and we'll wait for this here okay any questions so far are you guys getting how this is going to be helpful like now I can go on an anxiety forum find all the ones about anxiety and and list them out hey here's the top videos I like about anxiety um, you can go through and you can transcribe them and get no notes from each one right and now we're like oh now I can create content like literally at the speed of thought and say now please categorize them based on what they are for okay and then it'll go through and categorize them in a very simple way and again a little hack is if you keep searching you go like this okay so now we got guided meditation meditation art meditation practice now we have some things that are really really good how many of you guys are like oh wait a minute yes this would be helpful I can create a piece of content about the top meditation videos to watch if you struggle with anxiety. Now find some Alan, uh, you, we could even do like this, Alan Watts um, meditation video anxiety. Okay, now we can talk about anxiety. All right, so we're searching for too many things apparently, but let's see here. There we go. Um, from this page and get the titles and URLs. Okay, so we're going to go here and we get those and it's going to do this for us. Uh, Steve says, as we help others with free info, we can get affiliate commissions, a win-win. Exactly. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're like, oh, now I can go through and be like, hey, here are um, the things that you can do uh, or the things you can watch for. Um, okay, it's not doing a good job. Apparently, we're we're overloading it. But we can go through, we could do this, and I can even go into um, into this here and say okay well maybe we're going to do scholar.google so let's do scholarly articles and you could do something like anxiety please find some good ones using this search query now this uses bing so it might get a little confused but hopefully it'll work uh, really well um, and so okay it actually did well so there we go, the Beck, the Beck Anxiety Inventory. So this is stuff that's actually pretty good, right? So people that have anxiety or things like that, they get kind of obsessed with it and they go to forums and they look up things on forums and they try to understand, you know, what am I going through? How does it work? Um, very, very, very important. Like Affiliate says, it categorizing things that may not have come to mind. Exactly. And if we can have this categorize these things in a very, very simple way, it's key right because now we can give it this search tool and say use this query and find out 
what we're what we're gonna get. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Or movies, maybe you're gonna do movies or whatever. And then all I would need to do is go to like a um, affiliate network. Maybe I'm gonna use um, Offer Vault, and I could type in anxiety or whatever. Okay, and just so you guys know. This is how I built my sobriety YouTube channel. When I was new and we didn't have much um, on that channel, I would go and I would post things on forums and I would get traffic and you can link to things that will make money and you can help people out in a very, very simple way. And so we look at that and we're like, oh, okay. So our goal is let's find what people are searching for and let's give it to them in a very simple way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this and go up a level. Right, so I'll go up and I'll do anxiety. Okay, what are specific things people want related to anxiety? Panic attack versus anxiety attack. Um, stay away from the, the other ones up here with the, the medical type stuff, but we could go through Bible verses for anxiety. Okay, there's a good one. Um, you got anxiety quotes. You got prayer for anxiety. There you go. There's a good one. Okay. So we could go and do um, all in title, prayer for anxiety. Okay. Now I can go through and be like, okay, here's all these things. Um, and then I can go scroll down a little. Let's refresh this. Okay. And we'll do based on this search page, what are some titles for anxiety prayers with links. Okay, this is gonna go through and it's gonna get all that stuff. Now, if I didn't use the all in title, I'd just be getting random stuff. And now that we understand, okay, this is pretty cool, it's going through. Uh, up to now, I don't know how we are going to use this to make money like the data is too much. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you are going to provide something. So let's say we want prayer for anxiety, okay? Here it is, 11,000 searches a month. We got prayer for anxiety, okay? You wanna make money with this, but maybe you don't know about prayers for anxiety, and I don't know why that is considered the, the top parent topic for this, but you need to fix your stuff there, because it ain't. Um, so we're looking at this and we're like, okay, now we have these, these different prayers for anxiety. Great. Now we're getting data. Great. Thanks. And what are some other prayers for anxiety? Right? What we're doing is we're taking this. And so now let's show you what this looks like. All right? So we start here. And we were like, okay, our topic, prayer for anxiety, all right? We got 15,000 people a month looking this up. Not only that, but there is YouTube, which is gonna trigger suggested views and prayers for anxiety are gonna be huge on there, so there's lots of traffic. What do we need? All right, if I wanna make money with this, we know they are searching for it. This is a fact. You can't dispute the fact, it's, it's there. All right, now what do I need? Well, I need something that they would want. And this is when you hear all the annoying marketers say, you need to provide value. Value, value, value. And you get it, I'm like, dude, would you be quiet about the value? Tell me what value is. Value is how can I organize and compile info for these people looking for prayers for anxiety. Well, I could go through, if I don't want to make a website, I open up Microsoft Word, I get some sample prayers, I get some YouTube links, and I call this the Prayer for Anxiety Guide, okay? And I give it away. Now, on that guide, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have links to OfferVault, ClickBank, JVZoo, Digistore24, um, other anxiety relief uh, affiliate programs, different things like that. And I'm going to get paid when they click and buy the stuff. It's very simple. We can do this with literally anything and what these search queries are doing with AI is it's allowing us to refine. All right, if I just went, watch the difference here. If I just went into Google or something like that and I just did prayer for anxiety, okay, I'm, love God, uh, woman's day, 
prayer for anxiety. These are not specific to what I want. Does, do you guys see that? Type no specific. Okay? Be wise. How are you getting Copilot and Google on the same screen? Open up Bing. Click Copilot. Type google.com up here. Very simple. Okay? So now when we look at this, we're like, okay, what, what kind of prayers to use? And it's even getting them right then and there. Like it didn't even, I didn't even ask for that, and it gave me new ones. Now please come up with sample prayer titles for anxiety. Okay, watch. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to look at this and be like, okay, here's our, our sample prayers for anxiety. Okay, so now we're getting a list of a bunch of them. Okay, now what I can do is I can be like, okay, how can I do better? If I was out there and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm anxious, what do I do? Prayer for anxiety, Xavier University, 25, like reading 25 prayers is going to make me kind of anxious. Like I just want one. I want to deal with it, right? 30 powerful prayers, videos. This is making me anxious just looking at it, okay? What I can do is I can now categorize it. What would it look like if I categorized it better? Well, what I would think is, okay, prayers for anxiety. All right, let's do um, agnostic. That'd be a good one, right? Some people pray and they don't believe in God or they don't know who God is. Or Catholic. Or um, Hindu. Hindi. Or you have uh, a Christian. Or you have Mormon. You have uh, Jehovah Witness. Whatever. And now we look at these. And if we had these all in a box and we're like, oh, okay, they can click on the one they want. That also gives me an extra click deeper into it, okay? And you can put these on a PDF too. And I click the thing and it'll go to the part in the PDF that has the prayer. And so we go through, now I would do it on a website because you're gonna make far more money with a website. But now I can go through and say, okay, now we'll go over to Bard or ChatGPT or whatever we want. We'll open a new one and I'll say, please make a prayer, a sample prayer for anxiety using this info, one for each, okay? And we'll do like, boop, separate it to make it easier. Right like that, okay? So now we have this, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's gonna make one for each. Now once I have this, I can make a bunch of PDFs. I can make a video, get some AI voice. If you don't want to use your voice, go out there and um, make a little video of, of the prayers or whatever it is. Very simple. Get some music. Very easy to do. Okay. So we're looking at this and we're like, okay, this is looking good. Prayer for anxiety. Obviously read them. Make sure it's not like, you know giving bad advice, but now we can see, okay, this is pretty good. And again, the way we're gonna make money, we are gonna link to anxiety products there. There's probably some on ClickBank as well, let's see. Um, hey, you want an easy way to do it, just go over there, okay? Now, what are some good anxiety products on ClickBank I can sell as an affiliate? Right? And it'll go through it, it'll do the stuff for you, which is pretty cool. And now all I gotta do is go through and be like, okay, now let's find some affiliate products on ClickBank. And all you do, do a good job. Notice how here on this channel, not only do I put a ton of work into these videos, it's making, I got a lot of gray hair from making these videos, but uh, it's also because I'm in my 40s. But um, I, not only do we put a lot of info in them, but the reason is, is because I know that if I give you good info, you'll buy stuff without me even selling it. Like a lot of you guys are like, yeah, I'll get a high ticket niche. Yeah, I'll sign up for Blog Profit Network. This guy gives good info. That's what you want to do. 
like give them some good prayers give them some good stuff spend time go the extra mile uh, someone says this is great I have a Facebook Christian page with uh, 300 people all I do is pay, post and make no money start posting things that are going to be helpful now this one here looks like it's mostly weight loss so I'm just going to go to Clickbank on my own and show you this but again what we're going to do is we're going to use this to get good info and if you provide good things to your Facebook group I mean you can make a ton of money it's very very simple all you have to do is is follow along and say okay I'm gonna do a good job and then you go over to the old Clickbank and you're like okay is there anything for anxiety or there's probably some for prayers too panic and anxiety gone um, panic miracle 32 bucks a sale anxiety $41 a sale $20 a sale and on and on we go shyness and social anxiety right you could do uh, social anxiety social anxiety help or something like that right see what people are searching for uh, social anxiety mantras mantras are just like prayers but spelled differently right and so we look at it in a mantra or a saying or a prayer or whatever we can compile this in a very very simple way right all we're doing is looking up what people are searching for and trying to give them above and beyond information because if you have good information if your content stands on its own, you don't have to just rank in the search engine. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, Mr. De Silva says the gravity is low. That doesn't matter. Clickbank gravity, all that means is that's how many affiliates promote it. It has no bearing on whether it'll sell good. It just means affiliates have not found it yet. Um, I have made tons of money. Actually, I make lots of money on Blog Profit Network and you guys know it sells because it's a good one. Zero gravity, yet I've made over six figures with that so far this year. So, you know, it's like if you look at that, you'd be like, wow, what a terrible product. No, it just means I'm terrible at telling other affiliates to promote my stuff. That's not my strong point. I can sell stuff, but uh, I don't like doing the whole, hey, affiliates, let's do this. Um, but now we look at this and we're like, okay, this is really cool. Now we can make this work in a very simple way. Now, Gary says that sounds good, but how do I get traffic to my site using this? What you're going to do is you're going to get in front of the people searching. Okay, so you could do that. Like, let's say you're going to do the prayer one. Do you think if you made 100 prayer videos that were good on prayers for anxiety, do you think you'd get, I mean, you'd have to get traffic, right? Let, let's see how people are doing there. Um, let's do prayers for anxiety. Okay, so prayers for anxiety. You got uh, 42,000 views, 642, uh, 128. Do you, I mean... It's not hard to do. Make the prayer for anxiety, and there you go, 130,000, 135. And you don't have to be on camera. A lot of these are just like this. Very simple. Psalm prayer for you. Um, let's see how he's doing. Uh, he's struggling, but he, he's new, though. These are all new. Um, and some others, you know, if you follow and you do this in a simple way, daily effective prayer. There you go. Here's a guy doing Welcome daily effective day. prayer and uh, almost a million subscribers, 2,300 videos. He's not on screen. Right now, a lot of people are going to be like, well, you know, can you monetize it? Well, the way you're going to monetize it is by getting people to go to your site to download the prayer. Right? This is the secret nobody talks about. You need to give them, why do you think I have downloadmynotes.com? because I want you to go there, put your name and email so that I can send you other stuff and eventually you will buy something. And so we're gonna go through and we're gonna make this work in a very, very simple way. And we're like, oh, hey, this is cool. So we're using our search commands to find info that is going to help people, right? We're like, okay, well, define or example or whatever it is. And you can pair these together and you can even go through and utilize these to find stuff that you want. Like, okay, date range. Maybe I'll go date range and do a certain stock. Okay, if you guys want, um, if you guys want to get web hosting, I know a lot of people are talking about, go to gohubsite.com. We have a new host we're working with, and I, I've been loving it so far. Gohubsite.com. But now we can go through and find the news stuff. 
right? Let's, let's get the news reports. We could do uh, newsgoogle.com, make money online or whatever, okay? If I wanted to do videos about this, okay, here's all the things. I can clear this out. Please get me the titles from these pages on the Google I am on. Okay, so we'll go here, we'll scroll down. This is gonna get all the Google News sites. And now at a glance, I can find a bunch of info to make content about. Okay, uh, D. Holland says, couldn't you make your own ebook? Yeah, absolutely. Like, go the extra mile, do the work, because it's going to pay back over and over and over in spades, right? So now we're getting a list of all these, and I can go through and say, based on these lists, come up with some other stuff that you can use. Um, and, and it's very simple, right? Or we could do uh, Google News, let's do um, best deals, right? Maybe there's best deal sites that you could go out there and find all kinds of things. And notice how these are all updated, right? Very, very simple. Um, this is something that you can use. I did a video on RSS feeds and AI a couple months ago that was really, really um, simple. And, and it went through and it was very, very specific. Um, Joseph says, can you revisit the example for music promotion from yesterday? Yeah, like if you did all in title, um, sites to promote music, right? Now we have all in title. So these are all going to have all in title sites to promote your music. And you can go through and you can give this to either uh, Bing Copilot or ChatGPT. And again, remind me, I got a doozy coming up for you in just a minute. If you've liked what you've seen so far, smash the like button because this doozy is going to show you a little bit about, like, I think weird and you, I think you'll like it. So smash the like button if you're excited about that. But I can go through and do chat GPT, uh, all in title. Please search this to find and compile a list of 25 top sites to promote your band, right? And you can promote web hosting, you can promote services to help them promote their band. On and on we go, very simple. And we're starting to look at this and be like, okay, now we got, we're searching, see how it searches my exact thing there? Very, very important. So now we're seeing that it is literally the exact thing here. I have another Facebook page for truckers with 5,000 truckers. I post safety messages. What can I do with that page to make money? What I would do is I would talk about insurance and I would build a site about insurance and how to make more as a trucker and things you need to know and equipment for truckers, like radios and whatever else they have, um, things like that, right? So now we're looking at this, okay? Uh, Mr. De Silva, we don't do that because that's not, that's not the most ethical thing to do. I, I would not advise doing that. You don't want to do scraping or anything weird. We're just using this to get info to help us, right? Um, so now we have this. Here's a comprehensive list of platforms and strategy. Okay, Wix, promote shows, sound kick. So all kinds of stuff. I mean, now we're seeing like, okay, this is a good, solid result. This is pretty cool. Okay, Twitter hashtags, music blogs. So now we're getting something of value that we can actually use in a very simple way based on specific things we want. Now, before we end the webinar, I wanna show you the last bit of info, and this'll be something, you could use the free keyword tools with it, but the paid ones are gonna do a lot better. And that hack is, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please, take the search queries, and put them into your keyword tool. Watch this. You can actually find people that are searching for public domain stuff right like this. You can actually find people that are searching for, uh, let's do all in title, okay? People searching for, these are people who want straight up information about this specific topic because they're searching using the prompter, right? There we go, all in title, Sprint, or T-Mobile, or Verizon, something like that, right? Interesting, so I could literally go out there and make info on Sprint versus Verizon or, or whatever it is, or I could go through and I can do um, site colon, 
interesting. So if I did site colon, I'm gonna do this off page because I don't know what people are site colon in, but uh, you know, we need to double check there. Um, where is the money in the, in the example for, um, for the bands? Like if you wanna promote your band, you're gonna do band promotion services, AdSense, you're gonna do um, all kinds of different things there, uh, which, is, which is solid. Okay, so now for the, for the ones I did site colon, yes, it did have some interesting results, but they have Invisalign, um, animal rescue site, Costco site, uh, all kinds of stuff. So we could see um, all these people are looking up site colon and you know it's, it's doing pretty good there and we can figure out, okay, what is it that people are searching for with these? And when you do this, this will always find you niches that are pretty cool um, and it'll find you, okay, this is what people are specifically isolating um, and you could do like info or an anchor Let's try in Anchor. Can the free version of Ahrefs work for keyword research? Yes, it can. Yep. Um, but looking at these, it's, it's like it's going to show you all the things people want news on, um, tons of stuff, and it'll just isolate what people are searching for with those. Now it does take a little bit of work, but I think it will it'll find some very um, interesting things. Like if you did site uh, case law or whatever. Let's see what cases people are looking for. Um, define, right, that's one that'll probably bring up quite a few. There you go. A lot of people looking up how to define different things. Um, you have uh, Pinterest, all different kinds of things. Stocks, right, that one. Um, you can see what kind of stocks they're looking for. And it makes it very, very interesting because all we're doing is trying to figure out, okay, how can I do something better? How can I go out there and if someone was looking for books, right? Let's say you want to look for a book or whatever, right? Books related to X, Y, and Z, books related to this, uh, books that'll help with this. Uh, one of the things I do all the time, and unfortunately the genre of books that I love is very, very uh, rare, but um, you know, it's, it's uh, what is it? It is philosophical novels. Right, um, and it's really hard to find lists of these, but and then lists are not um, good. Hold on one second. There's mute. All right, we're back. Okay, cool. So yeah, what we're doing is we're basically going through and you would find uh, the book. So you could do like philosophical novels. Let's do uh, site amazon.com philosophical novels. Right now what we're doing is we're getting a much more refined search result and we can use this to get the list from. Right, so now we'll just go like this. Please get me the list of books from this search, right? And then we can go through, and again, we can have it categorize them based on is it a novel, is it this, is it that? And we're like, okay, there we go. Very, very simple, okay? And now it's gonna do this. and then it'll strip them all out and I can create a PDF on the best books for whatever this is or whatever that is and it's very, very simple to do. And when we start to understand that using these is going to help you search like a pro and find stuff that other people can't, because let's, let's face it, how many of you guys, you never heard of these before today or before my last video on them? Right, you were like, I didn't know what these these search uh, triggers were. I didn't know what I didn't know you could do all in title or quotes or whatever. And if you didn't understand it, and you guys are here in the make money crowd, and you want to learn about Google and search and stuff, then imagine how little the rest of the planet knows. 
and how difficult it is for them to find what they want. And so now what we're doing is we're going to pair these with all of our other stuff, put them together, and make money in a very simple way by compiling information that people actually want to consume, doing the work for them and helping them out in a very, very simple way. So if you guys enjoyed this, smash that like button, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for Friday's video. If you guys want the full list, check out downloadmynotes.com. I will have those available for you. Also, we still have our Cyber Monday high ticket niche deal. If you want to work with me, just go over uh, to downloadmynotes.com, get the notes, and it's right here on the bottom of the page. So thanks for being here. Smash that like button, and I'll see you next time.